All right, I'm getting tired of staying at the hotel. I need to finally get my house built. Let's get to it. So we're going to go over here and uh, hopefully get our uh, coal bulldozed in. I need to get all the trees buried and everything and then I plan on starting to get the contractor out here and building our new house. The only issue is, is this giant payloader doesn't do the best job when it comes to uh, pushing this dirt. So I think I'm going to get an actual bulldozer to push this big pile and level this out here and then uh, hopefully get this all cleaned up. That's the plan anyways. So we will uh, also I need to uh, get a stump grinder and uh, grind these stumps down right here. So the trees that cut off so gotta grind them down so I don't break no equipment and I don't plan I plan on either uh, putting this into part of the place or land so I definitely don't want it if that's some farmland because that would be issues so I think I'm gonna park the truck over here bring the, the tractor down and load up a stump grinder in a bulldozer see if we can make a better house than uh, Grant did over there. I, I don't know. That might not be possible. But I'm going to at least try. We'll park this over here in our makeshift uh, lot here. Shut that off. We're going to go get our Peterbilt here. Start this up. Get the air running. Let the air get built up here. Well, we'll check the tires. Always got to pound these tires here. Definitely don't want a uh, flat when you're uh, moving a bulldozer. Alright, tires are good. Let's get to moving. Alright, so that's Grant's place. Man, is that nice. So he's definitely got it built up nice and he has one heck of a cow lot there. Don't know, I've been trying to talk with uh, the city council and I think I got it okayed to put a uh, cow lot over there. So I think I'm okay, I'm still waiting for that permit to go through. It has to be so many feet away from the city boundaries so it might be on the outskirts of my land. I don't know, we'll work that though. Uh, the bulldozer is at the case dealership here. We'll get it uh, put on this trailer here quickly and uh, get to work. All right, so I'm gonna unlatch this so we could drive this on here. All right, unlatch, drive this forward. All right, here's this big piece of equipment. We definitely got some big pieces of equipment on our farmyard right now, so get in here. This is definitely different driving this thing. So I try not to turn it too hard. I know I'm turning it really hard right now because it's on concrete and these are metal tracks so that really wears out the concrete or the metal tracks. You don't want to do that too much but you gotta do what you gotta do I guess. Alright, uh, I think that should be about good. Uh, I think I drove it too far to the back. I'm gonna even out that weight. I want to still put that uh, stump grinder right back there. Back this thing up. There we go. Alright, stump grinder is on now, so back this up. Luckily, they let me use their payloader to put that on. Alright. We are moving along here. 
I uh, got everything loaded down. It's pretty heavy, but this old pier belt's got it. It's really smoking here, but that's okay. Uh, so basically what we're going to do first is we're going to grind down all of our stumps. Then I want to get that bulldozer, uh, bulldoze everything in we possibly can with uh, the dirt all them trees get all that trees get it nice and level and we should be able to have a contractor come out quickly and build us a farmyard man i just can't get over how big the farmyards here are in nebraska and things are big there's our makeshift lot right there hopefully we can get a better one made here soon turn in here uh, the neighbor did come over and said she, they are kind of annoyed by all the loud noise that's been going on like right behind their house I'm like uh, have you walked in your backyard I mean come on I'm trying to bulldoze a bad uh, place right by your neighborhood I'm basically increasing your house value but they were kind of pissy told them uh, just a few more days and I'm sure we'll be done and uh, you'll have a nice quiet Nebraska household then but we will make some more noise for them told them there's nothing I can do this is my land so oh well so I need to get this truck unlatched here and get our tractor over here and start uh, grinding down these stumps all right that's done. Now I gotta run over here. I gotta run around the hole. Don't want to run down that thing. Get a hard time getting up this dirt. But we'll go get our uh, 84R here. Should probably, this is way overpowered for this, but I don't want to unhook my 8230, so we'll start this old girl up here. Getting a lot of use, so uh, I ended up using this to put all the trees in the hole and everything, so it's kind of nice. Now I'm going to use it to grind the stumps down. Ooh, little uh, mound right there. Get these stumps ground down, and I think we should be good to start. Alright, got that hooked up now. Start grinding down all these stumps. You ever feel like you got way more horsepower than what needed? It's kind of common when you use a John Deere. There we go. Now we got a good bite of it. Alright. Can we turn? Oh, still can't get that. Alright. Just got a few more to do here. Alright. So I got all them stumps ground down, so now I don't have to worry about damaging anything. Shut this old girl off. I know, I call it old girl. Alright, so we will start seeing how much of a bite we can take here. Get this all pushed in. Alright, yep. Pushing this up. So this thing really pulls the dirt, that's for sure. Let's see, let's get this thing over there. There we go. Uh, yep, blowing the freaking coal now. Okay, got this thing going up the hill. Push it over just like that. Just keep this up for probably hours and hours and I think I'll be done. Pushing this up over here. Pushing it over the edge. You definitely don't want to get too far right there because uh, that will be a doozy It's not something you want to ride down You Definitely want to wear brown pants if you're gonna do that But this will definitely be a while but we'll keep at this and uh, catch you guys back in a little bit So I all I got this all leveled out my trees are buried now all nice and in the dirt. 
So now all I need to do is get the contractor over here and start building this thing. I did find out the the animal permit. The city called me and basically said uh, I would be able to have cattle 2,000 feet from the city limits, I believe. They told me I can have them, so I'll double check that. Might have to go to, to the courthouse quick to go see it. Start ripping up this soil here so we could start uh, basically making this into uh, forming this land. So far this thing is working great. Uh, don't know if I'm going to need that big uh, payloader yet for this operation, but uh, never know when a bulldozer or uh, giant payloader will come into handy. Going around here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I hit the concrete. Don't want to do that. That's where our old garage was. Talk about wrecking some equipment there. Nope. We'll go back over here. And start ripping up some more land.
have a big amount borrowed so I know we made a little bit off of our Iowa map but we really spent it all so mostly this is going to be a horse a breed horse or race horse uh, type farm and also we're gonna have some crops we got a lot of crop land we got this big field I don't know we might purchase more fields we got a few horses out here we're also gonna feed up some cattle. Feed lot, I've always wanted to do a feed lot, a good old American style feed lot. So I got two feed lots right here. I'm gonna put cattle in and feed them up nice and fat and sell them for market. Uh, we got a lot of cold storage. We got two giant 
shops. We've got this big gray shop here, which I just think looks immaculate. And we also got the blue shop, which uh, I really like blue. I don't know what it is, but I like blue. Uh, I tried to go with uh, warm colors all the way around. So our uh, grain bins here. I kept it old-fashioned. I always like doing the augers. So auger, we're going to have to pick up an auger at an auction or sale somewhere. Uh, we also got a dryer on the other side here because, you know, nowadays you basically always need a dryer around your uh, bin setup. Uh, we got a huge amount of bin setups. We got a few uh, liquid uh, fertilizer tanks there on the side. Also some dry fertilizer uh, type tanks. Uh, what else we got? We got some silos here. I, I went with the old style silo just because the other style that we had was just too... Uh, didn't clash with the color wise. But these have old New Holland... Uh, what is these? Uh, blowers on it with... Uh, looks like a cat generator type of power unit there. It's kind of nice. Uh, we went with our old style house here. Uh, I really like this style house. Just brings me that American spirit. That's why I went with it again. Uh, if I'm really out there to look for another house that has as much as available or close to available as this house does, if I could find one, obviously I would change up that. Uh, we got a picket fence here going around a lighted picket fence going all the way up to our driveway our driveway sits on top here so our house overlooks our whole farmyard and everything this is how I would want my farmyard even though I kind of have this big building right in front of it uh, I still am at the highest point of the farm that's for sure I didn't try to put too many uh, trees around I know you guys really don't like tree time as much as I do but uh, that way it keeps the frame rates up and everything uh, went with these big barns just because it gives to me it gives me that American feel that barn right there gives me American feel uh, this uh, horse pasture is just giant I don't know if this works as hay for the horses or not I'm gonna have to keep track of that uh, don't know if that'll work or not but uh what else yeah that's about it so both of our shops here have office areas to the side so don't know which one I'll use the most but it doesn't really matter I guess uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, farmyard so I always wanted to move back to Nebraska personally I mean really I really want to move back to Nebraska and farm but uh, this I made this farm just what I would my dream farm would look like in my mind uh, man we got I guess we got to move our old uh, silver bullet over here get that thing over here and uh, get everything uh, parked where it should be I know we have way too many parking for the little amount of equipment we actually have here but that's okay but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Nebraska.
Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.